Welcome everyone to Crown Wars, The Black Prince. Here's a turn-based tactical game with RPG elements. Based on the Hundred Years' War, you have squads to command, each filled with various classes like the Flayer, Beastmaster, Crusader, Duelist, and Alchemist. All this takes place from a domain that you manage and upgrade over time. As a fan of XCOM, I've noticed similarities in the combat where a careful selection of abilities, placement, and cover are vital for survival. Throughout this video, I'll introduce you to various aspects of the game, explain the mechanics, and delve into its features. This video has been sponsored by Nacon. It's coming out on March 14th of 2024. You can add it to your wish list by clicking on the links right down below. Check it out and enjoy this video. Let's get into it. As I mentioned before, it does remind me of a medieval XCOM. We've got our grid-based combat, and also we've got cover too. Like over here, we've got full cover, half cover. It should seem a bit familiar. For our knight, we've got two options, two fighting styles, defender where I could taunt someone whenever I attack them, and also champion where I deal more damage. We get one movement point, as you are able to see that from the blue diamond, and over here for these other two diamonds, those are our two action points. So right now, we're gonna move right by the enemy. He's only a cutthroat, he's very weak. We should be able to easily, easily beat him. So let's move up there and we'll have a look at the other buttons in just a moment because right now it's hammer time. We're gonna bring it to him. It's pretty brutal. I love it. And that's how you make mashed potatoes. Mashed man potatoes. The great part is, after you beat someone, you're able to use your other action point to sprint. So if you want to move a little bit further, you're able to do that. Having a lot of options in combat is always really good. It reminds me of D&D compared to Pathfinder, where you just get a little bit more to do. Of course, there's complexity, but that's never a bad thing. So now we're just trying to reach the castle gates and we'll meet a few new friends. Enemy turn. Here comes an archer. Yeah, right now we just have that little scenario where they're trying to teach you all of the different mechanics. And we're going to meet a few new friends, as I just mentioned. Right now we're outnumbered. We should probably get some help. and attackers pass by. If the gate falls, we're done for. Let's have a look at our new companion, Johan. He's got a very unique mechanic called teamwork. You fight alongside a beast. If you attack a unit that has already been hit by your beast or vice versa, the attack gains a bonus to power. So here we have our dog, Beck, and we're going to attack. A coordinated strike. You and your beast fight together as one. Deals four to six slashing damage. If the beast is within the range of the target, its attacks also benefit from teamwork. So here we go right now. We'll begin our attack. We don't really need to do too much, but you're able to see that there's a lot to the combat just by having another character that has a completely unique skill set. Support bonus. There we go. And also, whenever you flank, you get a bonus to hit. If you're hitting from behind, that bonus is even higher. So right now, let's move right over here, right by another enemy, just to check things out. And we're going to see what we're going to do to this guy. But not right now, because we have a knight who's going to move up and it's going to be smashing time another crusher ability that we're going to use right away and there it is once more we could use another action point to sprint around but no instead we're going to hit again done so all we need to do is just continue moving we end our turn and we continue heading towards the enemy gate or actually our gate <laughs> it's currently their gate but it should soon be ours That's gonna hurt. Hey, a new companion. I like that type of introduction. Let's find out what they do. And of course, we need to find out more about what our current characters do too. It'll all build up over time. Oh, not only one companion, but two actually. Let's have a look at our plague doctor friend, Guillaume. He's got a few unique abilities like fire flask. You throw a flask with a fiery mixture that deals three to four fire damage and has a chance to inflict burning. That to me is pretty self-explanatory. And here we have another one that's for acid damage, which is able to remove armor points too. Then if you need to heal people up, you've got that as an option. He has a ranged attack with his crossbow. Over here, we have a few other unique abilities like alchemical pitch. You throw a flask of pitch enhanced through alchemical research. And so you'll have a large surface of pitch on impact and those who move through it will be slowed down, of course. And then finally, we've got a blast which is where you're going to be able to, of course, burn things down like wooden partial cover. 
and deal a bit of fire damage. Now let's have a look at Elena. Her skill set is a little bit more simple, but she's going to be very important to have on our side. Of course, she's got a bow, so she's a ranged attacker here. We've got headshot, 3-7 to seven piercing damage. You're able to blind your enemy if it's a critical hit. You've got caltrips too, which of course will allow you to slow down your enemy. And over here, perfect shot, 2-5 to five piercing damage. You gain a bonus to power proportional to your distance from the target. So what we'll do, we're going to move back as far as we're able to at the moment towards our team. We'll want to do that because if I don't do that, our new members are going to be heavily outnumbered. If I use Caltrips, we'll probably want to use it maybe over here Caltrips where here. they're going to want to move towards us. So there we go. That was one action point. It's time for a headshot. Unfortunately, we can't hit anyone, but that's okay. So what we'll do instead, we're going to use a defensive stance for her and she's going to end it right there as for our other friend he's got the high ground right now so what we're going to do we're going to use alchemical pitch we're able to see that there's stairs nearby and a ladder so what would be the most tactically sound thing to do let's go after the ladder that's a little bit closer to our enemies so we'll throw that down they've got what any range attackers yeah one over here maybe that guy's able to throw an axe he's a hunter so maybe so we also have that alchemical blast i could throw it out a little bit further which would hit that one archer i like that idea let's do that in fact we hit two targets also it caught all of that pitch on fire so good luck moving through so now what else are we going to do now we're going back to our nightly character we're going to move over here and use overwatch we're going to have a nice bit of high ground of course when you left click you're able to change up what direction you're looking in so here's our overwatch that's our general area that we're going to overwatch in and we're just going to wait over here right now then seats. we've got johan who's also going to move over here to the right hand side in fact why don't we take some partial cover just a little bit of cover and we're just going to wait here for just a little while i mean i doubt anyone's going to come over but just in case we're going to bring over his pet we want these two to work together and he's going to watch the left hand side and so that's everyone now we just get to end our turn and wait for them to respond we'll see what they do that guy's just kind of chilling out he's like yeah here's my life and day oh and that one as well here comes our enemies oh a throwing weapon okay that's good to know another one's moving right on by they're able to bypass our overwatch we'll have to watch out for that one took some damage moving through the fire and didn't get very far see how we've been able to negate most of the enemy's damage i think that's worked out pretty well we need to take up that one archer that's close by so we're just going to use this range shot this armor piercing shot and we're going to take out that archer Unfortunately, they were able to dodge, but guess what? We get to shoot again. I mean, they were going to die from the fire anyway, so hey. Oh, wow. They dodged twice. Good for them. We'll move into some partial cover. Yes. Then we're going to move over here. We've got one guy that we get to flank, so let's bring over Johan and Beck, his dog. We're going to surround that one enemy and try to take him out together as a team. So again, we're going to use our coordinated strike for one attack. That's all that we really need right now. There it is. Good boy. Oh, that was a good one. Savage, really. Okay, so after that, we're going to bring up our knightly character, and we're going to come over here to attack that very weak cutthroat, who's nearly dead. We've got a few other abilities to use, like heavy charge. You charge ahead and deal 3-5 to five blunt damage to the first enemy in your way, with a chance to also inflict prone. But, hey, we don't need to worry about that right now. Instead, we're just going to do a crusher move. Take him out. And they've been crushed. Pretty good animations. Just letting you know that, hey, we can hurt people a lot. Now are. we've got a ranged attacker who's going to use perfect shot. We have an enemy way over here that I could hit, or we could just move around. But no, let's go after that enemy just to make sure that they're gone for good. Hit right from behind. That worked out very well. Then what we'll do, we're going to move a little bit further back over here right by Beck. All right. Then a headshot. You're mine. They might not die outright. They dodged again, aren't they lucky? I could actually move over there and try to get them, but instead I'm just going to move here where I'm able to just kind of wait. We're not going to move into the caltrips. No, we're not going to do that. We're going to use Overwatch again. So if they want to move through, let them try to. I can move a bit further, but let's just wait and see if any enemies will try to move towards us right now. So we've done that. We just need to end our turn and wait for them. So once again, it's the enemy's turn, and we're going to see what they're going to try. Another throwing weapon. So now I know that I definitely need to be careful with the line of sight. I was a little bit too exposed. I mean, it's going to work out no matter what. We're doing fine. We're going to move up over here. Then after that, we're going to use a ranged attack right after we actually move here. 
It's a partial cover. I'm not going to use any type of flask. And don't worry, I'm able to heal up. So if I want to, of course, handle that situation, then I'll be able to. Finally, we're going to get Johan to move up. We're not going to bring Beck this time because we only have one more enemy to get rid of. And we're going to use Shiv. Two to five piercing damage. And if we, uh, well, didn't kill him outright, we would have a chance to poison him too. I was trained for this. There it is. Another killing blow. We've been able to reach the castle gates. Now we just need to get rid of those who remain. We've got a few more enemies to take out. So service. we've got to carefully and thoughtfully think about how we want to handle these enemies. Obviously, some decent cover would always be nice to have. I could also move up here and attack a guy from down below. In fact, let's get aggressive with it. We're going to move over here and hit pretty hard. Verdict. Five to nine for Repent. blunt damage. Repent. Dead already. So that's one enemy done for. I would very much like to get rid of, if I can, one of the nearby enemies. We dealt only three damage, but we're able to attack again. So we're going to do that right away. Four damage. Again, not quite dead. Let's move over into cover. Elena is now safe. And if we want to, we could throw out a fire flask, an acid flask. I'm not too worried about their armor. I can't throw out my pitch yet, but here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to throw out a good fire flask. In fact, let's move up right over here by these barrels. So now we've got partial cover. We're going to throw out a fire flask. And I could hit these two or these two. No, we're going to opt for the one that we're about to kill outright. Let's do that. They're going to have to move right through it. At the very least, we got one of them. The other one took four damage. And if I want to, I could just shoot him. Let's do it right now. No pitch on the ground, so obviously it didn't catch on fire. All right. We're going to move over here. We've got one more enemy to go after. We're going to bring up Beck. So here comes Johan right now moving into position. Beck is going to move right by that enemy of ours. So now he's flanked. And they're going to work together. 6 to 12 damage. I mean, that's pretty extensive. Oh, we haven't tried to use Mark yet. So we might as well just try to use that for fun. Let's do it. There it is. 4 damage. They were not marked, but that's okay. Now, time to bite. A bite at a crime. Done. He's not getting back up. There are still many enemies. Let's hope our brothers and sisters of the council had enough time. Regardless, we must continue until the very end if we must. Brutal. And there it is. Crown Wars, the Black Prince. Nice little introduction to tell you what it's all about. The head of your family dies a sudden and violent death, while France, in its defeat, plunges into civil war. With your family ruined, fate forces you to flee your lands and wander the roads in exile. But don't lose hope. I'm offering you a new start, a small and secluded domain within the kingdom. For now, you need only know that I was a friend of the head of your family, and my name is Nicholas. So now you know, it's not just about combat. It's also about domain management, and we have our own right here. We're very fortunate with that. And we're going to be able to unlock some new features, as you're able to see. Fight in battles to unlock this building. So over time, you'll be able to expand what you have. We'll go to the Great Hall in just a moment. We also have our barracks too, where we have our companions who live and train there. We've got different forms of currency. We've got gold, metal, leather, wood, a master craftsman, and also squads too. We're going to learn more about them as we get along. A register, okay. Next tithe, 28 days. That's good to know. Any more details? Master craftsman locations. Go to your buildings to assign them. And let's have a look at a few more details. Yeah, here's my tithe. 450 gold. That's a decent amount. I like that. We're on day two, month four of year one. We're going to dive into the barracks real quick. And I want to let you know that you're able to customize everything. That's why I'm starting with that right now. So we have Pierre. Obviously, you're able to change up their sex, their voice, Anything about their head, scars too. 
the coloration of their skin, hair color. You've got beards over here. I'm gonna go back over to six real quick. I've chosen that for him. Headgear too. I mean, just again, there's so much versatility when it comes to actually just being able to build your own character. War paint colors. And if we go over here to your actual just accessories, you can see that again, there's gonna be a lot more that you're gonna be able to go through and add to your character or even take away from your bottom over to just the color of the leather, the fabric, the metal, fur, bones, wood, all of it. All of it has a certain color that you're able to change up. Like over here, I could change up my pants like that. I'll go back to my other colors and you're able to change up the leather too. So again, like if you envision it, you've got it here. And nothing brings me more joy, I think, in games than when you're able to make every character your own. And of course, you even have your own tabard. If you want to, you could hide it. You don't have to worry about it. So again, that's all up to you. And now we're gonna look at our general barracks too and how that all functions. Let's have a look at our classes now. We've got the Crusader, the Flayer, the Duelist, the Beastmaster, and the Alchemist. For the Crusader, you're able to bring in more than one set of weaponry. And of course, you've got your armor. And you've got your skill tree too. Scoundrel, Weapon Master, different ways that you're able to develop your character over time. You've got, of course, your weapons you're able to pick out. Whatever you really want, it's gonna work out for you. And you've got consumables. Like over here, we've got reinforced armor. Grants one armor point previously lost to you or a companion within range. But you do have your domain supplies that you're able to pick from. So you could change it up depending on what you want. Like for the flare over here, we've got different arrows. We've got their weapons too and of course their own skills and each character is like that like over here for the beast master you're also able to change up the general appearance of your pet too so there's a lot of options on how you're able to really portray your characters you could even change their names all right let's get out of here now we're in our great hall you've got your codex letting you know about the general story if you want to go back to watch cinematics you're able to do that for the memorial just like an XCOM, you've got a place where you're able to honor companions who have fallen in battle Thankfully for us, no one has died so far. And if you want to, you could change up everything about your coat of arms. That way, again, you're able to make it yours. Now let's have a look over here. You're able to upgrade various buildings, like over here, whenever we upgrade, we'll get another companion slot to our squads. We only have two out of two at the moment. You can send out an additional squad. It's all about that management of your different groups. Before we check out a battle, let's have a look at the various buildings we're able to unlock. We've got over here a laboratory, a chapel, what else do we have? A market, a forge, of course we're able to upgrade our barracks, and we have a prison too. So you're going to see your little domain grow over time. For any actions you take in your domain or on the map of France, it'll take time, which means that once you queue up your actions, once you have designated what you want to do, you're able to pass time. Right now we're going over to the sack of St. Martin. The mysterious Nicholas has asked you to meet him on the outskirts of Paris while the English army is ravaging the area. He promises to reveal what's really going on and so of course it'll take four days to reach that area we're gonna pick our class right now Gottfried let's bring in Theobald four members total Pierre and also Rupert too I'll change up a few other names later on all right now let's go over to continue you're able to change up their consumables their weapons as well like over here I've got a mace and a shield as a secondary weapon I mean if you're allowed to do that and of course, we've got every flask we're able to use for Gottfried. So there we go. I'm not going to change up too much. I doubt we need to. We're just going to send our companions and be on our way. It says a squad is en route. So now I'll pass time. We'll do that. We're able to see that our squad is three days left. We'll do it again. I'm sure other events will pop up in the future. We'll be able to multitask. We'll be able to also send out more than one squad to another battlefield if we wanted to, and more after we upgrade more of our buildings. So here we go. Understood. They're all ready. Let's begin. I could look at my squad and change things up, but I don't really need to. We have what we need right now. Let's begin our battle. If we're going to move anyone, it's going to be one of our melee characters. All right, Pierre, let's go check things out. We need to enter the village to find oh, Nicholas. Mercy. King Edward ordered us to destroy everything, to burn everything. But the voices, voices are whispering in our heads. My men have gone mad. The voices, they won't stop calling out. Ah! Oh, don't worry. 
I'm not gonna help you. All right, so we've got some enemies over here. What we'll do, we'll get everyone together just a little bit closer. Then we'll go say hello to our English neighbors. It's probably time to say hello, I think. I could move in everyone right now. I could ignore them. Or I could take my armor piercing shot. Just a little bit of damage to continue our current situation. I could try to debuff him too. That wouldn't hurt. Or even just burn my enemies who try to move over here. That would also be a viable choice. In fact, Yield. let's do that. I'm just here to cause them yes. a terrible, terrible day. All right, so after that, what else are we gonna do? Well, we're gonna have to tank our enemy. That's gonna be very important to us, I think. Let's move over here. So we have our tank. We're gonna switch over to Defender. You fight so valiantly that enemies focus on you. While this fighting style is selected, you gain a chance to inflict Taunted on enemies hit. Perfect. All right, then Protector. You mock an enemy within the range and force them to fight you. Chance to inflict Taunted on the target. You gain Resilient. Face me. Let's do that then. They have been Taunted. That's great news. From there, we don't want to use Fortress. We could use Overwatch. That way, whenever he comes over here, we get to smack him a little bit. Yeah, that's a really good idea, I think. Let's actually dash way over here way. where there's a Ballista. I think that's a really good idea to have our ranged attacker just move over here. Our flayer just do something a little bit different. From there, let's actually move up with our Duelist. We want him to hit hard to do something. And so again, we're going to use Overwatch that way if he moves pretty close then we're going to be able to hit him too and that's going to end our turn for right now let's wait for them pretty soon we'll be able to use that one ballista one enemy is currently burning display of courage now they have valiant they've been buffed up here comes one enemy moving over here oh he was just able to move by so i'll be a little bit more careful with my overwatching in the future we took some damage but they are all grouped up over here here's another ranged attacker who's now shooting what at our own range attacker but guess what they were able to dodge so it's okay from go. there what are we going to do well we've got a few shots we're able to use that ballista let's see we could ignore armor that's great news we could inflict bleeding and rooted we've got a standard shot too what about getting rid of some nice armor right away how cool would that be just to be able to blast right through someone or to get rid of their range attacker too i think that would also be a very viable choice let's try it out right now there we go 13 damage and he's bleeding what a devastating way to be hit so now we could use what dead aim we've got headshot we could try to hit him let's use headshot sure we could also blind him we've got a chance of doing that five damage not dead but we get to shoot again even better let's try it once more three damage and we'll just see we'll see what we get to do in the future but for now what else are we going to do well I suppose what we could do for the moment, we could take our alchemist and we could continue to go after this knight. This knight has armor, of course, but what if we just shot him a lot? I mean, we could also throw a flask, which has a chance to inflict weakened. We don't want to hit anyone else, so we'll throw it right here. We'll ignore their tank. Their tank can deal damage, sure, but oh, he was able to resist it. That's unfortunate. All right, then we'll go in five damage. Hey, that's pretty good. All right, after that, let's get the high ground. Just because it's a pretty good yes. thing to have. We don't want them to go after our archer. Now, after that, what are we going to do? Well, I could also inflict Valiant upon our own side. Let's do that. Crusader and also our Duelist. Really a little bit better. Here's our Strike. It's served. concussive. All right, four damage. He has been taunted. Great news for us. After that, we don't want to move too far away. We'll come over here to Pierre. So what will Pierre do? Well, we don't want to have any Overwatch attack. I wonder. I could go after another target, but instead we'll just move over here. On the move. Right to his side. And easy pickings. Increasing your critical chance. Keep I like that. Up. Let's go for it. Six damage. After that, let's pick up Mighty Thrust. A bit more piercing damage. Six damage. Yes. He's now dead. That's one less enemy to worry about. We'll go after their tank. So far, we've destroyed him. Oh, right. There is a flare close by, but thankfully, I don't think he's going to be able to reach our ranged attackers. So here's where all the tactical elements come in. You're able to see now what we've done. That flare of theirs, that rogue of theirs is now dead from bleeding. Unfortunately, he was able to attack us from behind. Placement and where you look is so important. So after that, what are we going to do? Well, I suppose what we could do, we could use a healing flask. We've also got another shot to use. Impelling bolt. Oh, how fun would that be? But what about just going after that very durable tank? Let's shoot him right away. 10 damage. 
Devastating. Not dead, but he's in bad, bad shape. Let's go Don't after that. the more fragile unit over here. Blinded as well. I mean, look, we get to also shoot again. Three damage. Not a lot, sure. Do we want to wait here? Sure, yeah, why not? After that, a healing flask. Let's throw that at our companion close by. We just want to make sure we're all patched up. We don't want to die. Here's an armor-piercing shot. A bit of a waste on a cutthroat, but I've made my choice. Now, we're going to use a mighty thrust. All right, let's go. Let's just be mighty about it. Five damage, another enemy dead. No killing animation for that, but hey, he's dead. That's all that really matters to me. All right, let's move over here. Yes. Again, you saw that little arrow. Well, that means he would be able to have an opportunity to attack against me. Obviously, I don't want that. We're going to use hold the line. I would like some more armor. I would like to so regain nice. a bit of that. All right, we are now done. I could move further, but I like where we're at right now. I think we're in a good place. Our enemy's outnumbered. Three damage. Attacking again, a further three damage on another target. All right, so you know what we're gonna do. We're gonna come over here real quick and we're just gonna do some shooting. So piercing shot for one. Let's do that. And of course we also have bandages too if we want to use any bandages. We do have a finite amount of things that we're able to use. Let's move down because we're pretty much done up here for now. All right, there he goes. Yes. All right, who else is going to move now? Let's have a look over here. Well, I've got that armor piercing damage. Let's go for it. 8 to 14 damage. Is that what I read? Maybe so. 11 damage. That saves so much time. Let's see if we can get a kill here with a standard shot. 3 damage, and he's dead too. There it is. So we beat them all. So what are we going to do now? We'll probably use some bandages. We're going to patch up or some balm. That way, we just get to be fully restored. I mean, at least we want our tank to be fully restored. Then we'll continue to move in. We need to fight our way over to the church, which shouldn't be too difficult. We're very close to the church. We're going to move up. Of course, we want to limit where enemies are able to move. So we're actually going to have a nice little choke point over here. Let's very use well. it. Here comes one character. So who are we fighting now? A Beastmaster would have been nice to bring in. Maybe I should have doubled up on melee characters. I'm not really too sure what would have been the right choice. I'm still learning myself. All right, there we go. So we could attack someone. We could go right in. A Zealot of the Order. Oh, man. That's going to be a tough one for sure. I've got to kill him. That's really my only objective. I could ignore other characters. Am I going to do that? No, it's okay. But I'll do instead. I'm going to use defensive stance there so now we've done that for our archer let's move him over here have him face over to the right yeah you're able to choose where they face very important i think and caltrips these to me are probably pretty important especially if we want to slow them down just a little bit just to do something to say hey if you move over here you're going to bleed Caltrops so let's here. throw that Caltrops are now down there. Two damage for one enemy. Here's a headshot. That. There we go. Watch Four damage. Surface. Very good. Yes. Who else do we have? Well, we've got our alchemist. We'll move him yes. in just a moment. What about our tank? Well, our tank is going to move right over here. If anyone tries to pass through, we want to make sure that, again, we are able to hit them to do something to stop them from just being annoying in general. Okay. If I use protector... I could use it on their protector over to the right. Let's do that. Face me. For one. Taunt him. Now we have resilient. Great news. Okay. After that, we've got display of courage giving us valiant for two characters. Let's do that too. Just what I needed. All right, yes. perfect. As for who we have left, again, I wish we could actually get up here. We can't do that. But that's okay. If I could make an armor piercing shot. That would be great. It depends on who I'm able to hit at the moment. But if I can't hit anyone, that's okay. Let's move over here real quick. Get in position. We'll get them in just a bit of time. I'm not too worried about it right now. Oh, yeah. I would need to move just a little bit more. Unless I use my questionable science to try to hit him. But I'm not going to do that either. So instead, we're just going to hold on for right now. We're going to overwatch it. Cover this area. Perfect. And we're going to end our turn. 
I'm hoping we're gonna be able to handle what they have right now because that zealot looks really tough three armor Okay, this guy is trying to flank us You've got fortress Oh three damage there is one attack as long as they can't do too much right now. The Zealot, though, what is he doing? He's trying to move around using Bloodthirst. Excuse me. Now resilient. But he's not here yet. Okay, that's even better news. So what are we going to do now? Well, we're going to use Questionable Science for one. Because we want to try to weaken these two enemies, if we can. That's my hope. Alright, these two are now weakened. Great news. We're going to use Armor Piercing. We could also, let's see... If the target is behind wood and partial cover, it's destroyed. Well, he's not. So we'll go after that zealot. Oof, only three damage. Not a lot of damage, man. Not at all. So there's dead aim. You draw your bow back and prepare to shoot. All right. Who could we really beat up right now? The guy right by us, I would like to really get rid of him. I don't like him being there. We could also go after the squishier guy back there. Two to eight damage, two to eight damage either Dodge way. That. Four damage, not sufficient. Give up. But we'll keep on going. Yes. All right, next, what we'll do, we'll move another character over here. Could ignore his armor, that would have been nice, but let's see. Mighty Thrust, let's go for it. Nine damage, another attack. I'm ready. Okay, that was pretty That's good. He's not dead yet, no, he's not, but we are getting closer. I could try to block our enemies from coming over here, but if I do that, well, we're going to be hit by something. So I'll just move him close by. All right. Then after that, I've got Fortress. Let's use it. There you go. Two armor back. That's what we need right now. And if I use Overwatch, I'll need an enemy to come towards us. So let's say maybe over here. Hopefully that'll service. be sufficient. And for now, we are done. I can't really do too much else at the moment. Let's hope now that they're not going to be able to easily flank us. We'll see very soon. I mean, of course, that's only partial cover. He's been blinded, which is really bad. Oh, okay. Wait, he's able to hit from there? Oh, man, that's really bad news. One enemy taunted. Another hit after that. He's moving again because of strike. Five damage. Here comes the Zealot. Exsanguinate. Oh. Another attack. Four damage. All right, back to us. Obviously, we want to beat up some people, so let's do that. Armor piercing. Let's kill this guy. Let's just kill him right now. Two damage. Done. He's gone. Great news. Okay. After that, I wonder, could I move you away? I can't actually move you away without being hit. That's really bad. So we'll try to do some damage over here. I might lose someone. Resisted blindness. Okay, we'll try again. Six damage. Actually, we dealt a lot of damage. That's really good news, too. All right. We're going to use armor piercing again. Well, no, no, no. I'm going to move where? Here? Yes, here, because we would be able to hit three targets. Now we're going to use armor piercing just to get rid of that one target. But oh, no. Oh, we almost had him. Crap. Yes. Oh, okay. So what else are we going to do now? If I can't flank you out right, hold the line. Let's go for that. Three damage. Whatever we're able to do, let's do it right now. Grants healing. Okay, we could use easy pickings, but I would need to hit from behind for that to be better. Instead, we could go after the guy over to the right. Just to beat him up a little bit. In fact, that's probably the ideal choice. Unfortunately, that was all that we could do right now. We'll blast it all. Okay. Let's try to hit again. Oh, wait, I could hit him over to the left. Oh, he dodged again. You're kidding me. Oh, that makes me so mad. Okay, well, we did what we could, I think. We did all that we could, and we're going to have to now just chill out here. Just take it easy and hopefully not die terribly. One more turn to hopefully resist our enemies. Display of courage. Buffing up two of them. A dodge. Good. Our archer was hit again. He's bleeding. I'll have to use a bandage on him very soon. There's one attack. Another one over here. Five damage, 18 HP left. Okay. So we know you're bleeding. Don't like that. Let's use... It's not really a wooden... Let's this just shoot. Hurt. Let's go. Please hit. Three damage. Got him. Okay, good, 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 good. Enhanced bandages. 
I would like to use that, but let's wait for just a moment. Move here, close by Alchemist. Help him out. Okay, he's no longer bleeding, but he's one hit away from dying. <laughs> Ready to go. That's so bad, man. All right, I could throw my caltrips where I'm at right now, make him bleed, make him just think about something a little bit. Let's try that out. All right, yeah, take your damage, you nerds. Let's go after the guy who's at 10 HP. Unfortunately, he also dodged. I could like just run back for now, which is what I'm gonna Very do. Well. If they wanna follow me, so be it, but he's got one HP at left. He nearly died. Yes. All right, after that, what else do we have? You well, you can't do much more. We've got this one enemy right by us. What we'll do, we're gonna move right here, face him. Okay, then we're gonna use, let's see, Mighty Thrust. We could hit two targets. Let's do oh, that. Quick finish. Seven damage for one. And we'll do it again. Oh, he dodged. You're kidding. Oh, wait, yes. no, he's gone. Anyway, doesn't matter. Okay, good, 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 good. I mean, good. <laughs> All right, let's get this guy to look at us here. He's been taunted, good. We're gonna use display of courage, buff us all up. That's what we wanna do, all right? Then from there, we're just gonna chill out and hopefully live for a turn longer. Holy crap, this has been really intense. Six damage, not prone, a further three damage. Okay, we need to patch up someone, don't we? Let's do it. Here you go, nine back. Armor piercing, let's go for it. We all need to just hit hard here. All right, after that, I'm gonna move you back just a Very little hard. bit. There's our alchemist. We've got fortress, we're gonna use it right now just because we wanna make sure that we've got a little bit back here like resilient and we're gonna just strike out a dodge. He dodged, of course he yes. did. All right, after that, what else are we gonna do? Well, if I move here, I could shoot at him. And that seems like a pretty good idea. So we're gonna move here. Obviously, I don't wanna die but I don't really have a choice right now. I need to make a headshot. Zero to six damage, four damage, okay. We are getting there, but it could come at a cost. Four damage. Yes. And if you've played XCOM, you know all about the cost. It's brutal, but I mean, I would like to get behind him, but <laughs> I've kind of limited myself a little bit. So again, mighty thrust. And again, he's at 12 HP. So we're so close to beating him. Maybe if we last for like one more, one more turn. A critical hit, 10 damage. Of course he got a critical hit. All right, this everyone's just gonna have to double down. We've got to beat him. Flanking would be a better idea right now. I've made my choice. I've moved here. I won't disappoint what we'll do, let's see, what about my archer? My archer can move over here, face him. We could lose it all right now. Ooh, a dodge. I didn't realize he had the range to actually swing at me, but let's try it out now. Five damage. Okay, one more shot. Give Did up. we get it? Three damage, we won. At your service. Okay, that was incredibly hard, but fun. So what happened here? Level two, level three for our entire cast. A few of them are like, buddy, I need a break right now. I just need to chill out. So what do we have over here for our alchemist? We've got pyrochemist. We've got apothecary. I do like the idea of healing. Also being able to poison my enemies, but being able to remove armor points, that's also important. For now though, let's go for some healing. I think that's gonna be a good one for us. Let's go back. And what about you? Let's see. You draw on your piety to keep on fighting. You heal and gain haste. Over here in Bolden, you encourage an ally. I mean, haste to me is always imperative. So we're definitely gonna do that. I could just click next. All right, parry. Grant 25 bonus reflexes against every attack that target you. This bonus increases to 40, okay? And over here, cunning increases your critical hit chance by 15% if you attack your target from behind. That's really the big thing, is to be able to do that. I like the idea of having survivability, but let's go crazy and try to use them to flank more in the future. All right, over here, we've got what? Sidestep, you attack and deal two to four piercing damage, which gives you the chance to rapidly retreat Grants elusive. Then over here, defensive shot. Okay, you attack and then hunker down in position. Deals two to five piercing damage, grants resilient. Let's go for sidestep. There. 
just to be able to shoot and move away. Now, we'll go back to our domain. And now we're back at our domain. We've got our rewards. You defeated the mysterious fighter, but found no sign of Nicholas. Your enemy was carrying a strange scroll, probably coded and written in a foreign language. We need to speak with scholars from La Sorbonne to decipher it. Let's hope it helps us find Nicholas. Yeah, maybe so. Let's have a look over here at the forge. Upgrade the various weapons and armors that your companions use. Every upgrade requires resources and takes time. All right. Well, we've got a few options. We could reinforce many different weapons that at that point we could then use for our mini characters too. So I would need to really sit here and think about what I would want. We're only at tier one at the moment. And if we upgrade it, let's see. Unlocks reinforced weapon and armor. Upgrade schematics, understood. So if I want more, that would be my option. And later we'll be able to upgrade armor as well. Well, that's it for now, everyone. Thank you for watching. If you would like to check out a game that is going to make you think about every choice you make, whether it comes to management of your domain or just any turn that you take in turn-based combat, here's the game for you. If you're okay with losing companions, if you're okay with having tough battles, this is certainly the right game for you. Again, check it out right down below. Thank you for watching. My name is Surreal Beliefs, and as always, until then...